Yo guys, yeah, welcome back to another video. Today, I was going to say I'll do it after... What video did I do? I can't remember. It was a school one, wasn't it? And I did the West Ham career mode one that blew up, literally. Like, I think it was like one night, I was looking at my channel. Who's that? Bro, why is everyone walking around? I'm trying to film a video, bro. Are you mad? But yeah, I think it was one night, yeah, when I was looking at my channel, and then I saw the video, the West Ham Korea video, it almost hit 400 views in only three days, which is insane. That's probably the most I've ever got in the, the most shortest amount of time, which is insane. I mean, not all of you, I think there's a lot more people that watched it, because obviously I don't have over 400 subs, so... I only have 200, so it can't be, it's like 100 extra, but that's insane. Like, I think people will find the West Ham career mode like videos, but man, that's actually, see, it's still going up. Maybe we can hit 400 in less than a week. So if you haven't seen it already, go and watch it. I think we only need about nine more views to hit 400, which will be insane. So thanks for the support. Thanks to you guys shouting it out as well. Yeah, well, we're going to get right into this video as well. See how much, see how you enjoy this one. Top five things during the holiday, yeah. I said I was going to do it, and since we haven't had much holidays yet, why don't I bring back nostalgia and the memories that we will experience? I'm not going to have much here too much. Memories that we had on holiday and that, because I miss them. It's been about a year and a half since I've gone abroad somewhere because of this virus, and I miss it. So, you know what? We're going to bring back the memories, yeah. Top five things during the holiday. This is, you know, it could be in England, it could, in like the UK, it could be across them nights. We're talking more broad holidays, like, you know. You know, hot countries, you know, you know, like the sort of like Spain holidays or somewhere else hot, like you know, Turkey, Greece, all that. You know, that's where I've been, so we're gonna go through them, okay? But before we do, yeah, before we do, if you haven't already, yeah, make sure you go subscribe, make sure you go and like this video and turn on notifications as well. I've done it the wrong way around here, hold on, let me do it again. Like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I hope that's the right timing for that cool animation thing that I've got on the bottom of the screen so then it will just all go in time and then it will look sick so yeah make sure you do that already if you haven't and without further ado yeah top 5 things during a holiday let's do it okay so the first thing that I've got on this six note the fifth thing or number 5 just this is number 5 now because it's the top 5 okay we start from the bottom we go to the top so top 5 I fucked up again 5 bro I can't stop no no, I'm mucking this up already. Number five on the list, and yo. Preston gave me some music in the background. At least I don't have to use any music in my video yet. I love the input from my brother there. It's a shame how my room is right next to him. I mean, it's my room, the air and cupboard, and Preston, but even if, right, it doesn't matter, it still doesn't make a difference. It still sounds like it's right next to me. My, my brother has his wardrobe in my room, like, I don't understand, but. Going off topic here, number five, and the swimming pool bangs so much more on holiday than it does just at home, you know, just in the, in the UK. Because we've got a leisure centre in my town. I know a lot of other towns, you know, near where I live, they have their own, often any town, any big town or anything like that, they have their own leisure centre. They have, or even schools as well, they have swimming pools and that, but I think pools would just be so bad at school, so... I'm talking about leisure centres and then I'm being on holiday or like pools in this area. So like say leisure centre swimming pool, yeah it's alright, get a bit of exercise, maybe a cool slide or something, but when you're on holiday, oh my. Like in the UK, centre parks swimming pool, that's just insane. Centre parks is sick, but I'm talking about holiday, going abroad, going to hot countries, how much it's so good when it's so hot and you just get in that cold swimming pool. Or maybe when it's like well, actually, I prefer it if it was hot, because I don't like cold swimming pools and that. That swimming pool when it's all hot, you know, and it's music. Oh, I remember this place I went to in Turkey, they had a water bar. Like, they had a bar in water. So, while you're swimming, you can order a drink. I just want to go back to Turkey, man. I just want to go back there. I want to live there. I, I just miss it so much. I miss Mr. Cheese as well. He was the right... He was the pinnacle of dancing. Like, he, he, I think he pretty much invented the, the, the dancing. You know, the V dancing, I think he invented it. Like, V dancing across all genres, yeah. Mr. Cheese was the top dancer, yeah. Any holiday place, yeah. He wants to ask me to go to um, a nightclub with him. I was only 13, but 
I'm fucking over, would have still been allowed. Mr. Cheese would have somehow got me in, gave me a fake ID and stuff like that. But yeah, he was around a swimming pool a lot as well. He was just doing some dancing uh, and he was picking up girls as well. But oh yeah, Mr. Cheese is in my um, pro clubs. My pro clubs team. I can um, do a video on that with another member of Dead Trim FC. Alright, I'll keep on going off topic. Okay, swimming pools, yeah. Yo, who misses being a swimming pool holiday? The music, the drinks, like the activities as well. Going back to Turkey, they did this volleyball thing and it was insane. You know, you could watch it and stuff. They did this float thing. They did this like float obstacle course thing that my dad broke and then no one was allowed to go on it afterwards. So, yeah, that was. That was insane. That holiday had about two swimming pools, which was crazy. Like, one of them had this mad water slide thing, and then the other one just had all the activities and that. Like, they had the foam baths as well. Anything going on in a swimming pool is always going to be sick on a holiday, especially if you're abroad. The amount of things that they do in a swimming pool is actually mad. So, whenever you go on holiday, spend your time near the swimming pool because that's where it's going to be like the, the most sick. Yeah, so swimming pools number five on the list for sure there's a lot more better ones but i've got to put that one out there that is just insane all right number four on this list yeah making friends and i always i always love to make friends like even if i wasn't meant to make friends on holiday if it was just going to be a chill one like my brother says i somehow still make friends and for some reason i don't regret it the amount of times i made friends on holiday yeah they just had sick times together yeah like the boys that i met in turkey as well there was like one English friend and then there was like this German boy as well. We were, and then we just sort of made up friends around there. I remember I went to Tenerife, met this whole gang from Scotland as well. It was absolutely insane. And then, uh, yeah, don't forget Caden and Terrell as well from um, Haven as well, because they were still in touch. I think like we could probably meet them again one day, you know, so that would be sick. But yeah, just making friends on holiday, like just rolling up with your crew around around the whole like hotel resort place, like that was just insane. It, it, I think it banged differently. If you're, I think all of these were just better abroad, you know. Yeah, some of them you can only do abroad on this list, but everything on this list just are different when you were abroad than if you was if you was even going on holiday in the UK, you know. Like holiday, like making friends or having friends on holiday. I never went with a friend on holiday abroad, but oh, that must have been so sick. I, I was just the type of person to make friends, and then like if I was there for like two weeks and like I made friends in like during the first week, then you have a whole week with them, you know, like because you know them and you have friends which is sick, but uh, that didn't really go for my brother in Turkey. We, we didn't really make any friends in Turkey, to be fair. Like, I was just walking around on my phone talking to people on there. My brother, yeah, he straight up said to people he did not want to be his friend. Like, <laughs> I still remember it, yeah. Him and my mum were going around on the lazy river ride, yeah, these boys come up to us. They, no, these boys, actually, I wasn't, I wasn't there, it was just him and my mum. These boys, these English boys come up to a rubber, yeah, says, ask if he's English, and he's like, yeah. And I asked him not to be friends, he straight up said to them, no. He said to them, no. Yeah, my mum was like, he's only joking. He's only, he's like, no, I'm not, I'm not joking. I don't want to be friends with them, <laughs> you know. And that's just not how you should be on holiday. Like, all holidays, you just get friends, because this is so fun. Instead of telling them straight up, like, no. <laughs> like, I would, I would never do that, man. Like, I would just be like, oh yeah, sure. Like, it doesn't mean you have to see them all the time. Just have some people to hang around with. Obviously, my brother doesn't understand that, you know, he, he did he said on the flight he wants to have a chill holiday, but it's so difficult not to make friends on holiday. I mean, when you do, you don't, you just don't regret it. Like, it's just insane having friends on holiday. It just makes it so much more fun. Like, the only friend my brother made on that holiday was his iPad. He was just with that for the whole time. I'm lucky he didn't overheat, because in Turkey it was pretty hot. So, pretty hot. It, it was a... Uh, it was a little bit hot, just a little bit. But yeah, making friends on holiday, yeah, that's number, f that's top four on this list. Number four on this list, yeah. I'm gonna go to number three on this list, yeah. And now, I'll say drinks were really good on holiday. Like, my favorite drink on holiday is just Coke, Pepsi, anything like that. You know, that's my favorite drink here as well. You would, ne you would never catch me drinking alcohol. It would just be Coke or Pepsi. I'm doing the chunks, I don't drink. Oh, for some reason, yeah, like this drink, wherever you went on holiday, it was, so much better than at home. And that's the milk here. Yeah. For some reason, yeah, the milk tastes so good on holiday. Do you do you get what I mean? Like, I don't know what they do, but what what's wrong with their cows in holiday, in like abroad countries? Like, are they tanned or something? Does that mean they get like better milk? You know, more vitamin D or something? Like, I don't understand. But their milk tastes so good. Like, 
Oh my, it's just the. I don't under. I don't. I don't. I can't describe it, but it's just so sick. You know when you have milk on holiday, like even when you, you like in just different countries, like milk just tastes so better in this country. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's because we're not used. We're used to our flavour of milk. Like if somebody came over to here and tried our milk, then they'd say it's nice. I don't know. But maybe English milk just isn't good at all. Maybe just. It may be just disgusting, and we just got used to the taste, but other countries, any country, I reckon American milk tastes nice. Like, even even countries that speak the same language as us. Even when you cross the border to Scotland or Wales, all of a sudden their milk just tastes so much better than ours. But I don't know, the milk just tastes so good. Like, it's like, oh, I'm gonna, like, every, every holiday now, I want to try the milk. Because it just tastes, it's just so sick. I like, not all the time. I'm not like my brother has milk at dinner time, yeah? Yeah, he has. He sometimes has milk at dinner time, even at Weather Spoons. This guy orders milk. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with this kid. But I think this is becoming more of a brother video than it is a holiday video. But you know, milk here yeah, in different countries is insane. I just don't get it. Like all drinks are better on holiday, but milk has had the biggest scar when you go to holiday or when you go to different countries it's so much better milk number three on the list yeah this is number two the one before the top thing on holiday and number two yeah is the nostalgic aesthetic 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 hold on let me look this up hold on aesthetic aesthetic yeah nostalgic aesthetic no i made that one up hold on yeah the well, number two on this list is the nostalgic Aesthetic, yeah. Fright to the hotel. Fright to the country we're going to. Oh my god, the flight there is so much better going back. Cause not only, well, I guess it's like tiring because it takes longer to get there when when it is getting back. When you're going to new countries, you just want to like. Or when you go into a country, like I think it's better when you go into a new country. To be fair, because then you're like, or, or just the, just the journey to your hotel is so sick. Then leaving, look, just leaving that place. Like you don't want to leave. When you get, when you're going there, you know, going, driving to the airport, going to like the duty freeze and everything. You know, getting all snacks and that. Going to your terminal. You know, going on the flight, landing there, seeing what's different about the country and that. Oh, Turkey was the best for me. Turkey was the best. You know, Turkey, yeah, they have houses on the motorway. I mean, the journey to Turkey was all right, but we were like. Stuck in traffic for half an hour because this truck like tipped over or something. Turkey's a crazy country, you know, but it's the best country, it's the most underrated country. You need to go to Turkey, man. I should, I should just sponsor this video with Fly Turkey or Visit Turkey, you know, like, like Visit Malaysia and Visit and Turkish Airways. This is sponsored by this video, but yeah, journey there, yeah. It's just insane, you know, going through the terminal and that, or I freaking, it's so much better at night. It is so much, I never rocking up to Turkey, going to the airport at night, all empty. I say, it's so sick, like, early, I want to go to an airport, but really early in the morning, just see what it's like. Or stay, <gasps> I could stay at an airport for a video, you know, I've been up for 24 hours on McDonald's. Just go there and just spend the whole, yeah, that's actually sick, you know. Just stay there for like a couple of weeks and then just wait for off flight and then when it's off flight, just that will be a cool video, won't it? <laughs> but yeah, I just I so wrong going to an airport at night and why it's so sick, why it's so good going to an airport at night. Like I just love it, you know. Like it's just relaxing and chill. Like because it's em I don't know, I don't know. You know them things where you just can't explain, but it's so good going to an airport at night. Airports at night, it's so sick. Like I don't understand. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's so sick. That's number two on this list because it's it's so good, but I can't explain why it's so good. But number two on this list here yeah, is the flight there, the journey there, rocking up to your hotel. It's just too sick, and don't forget empty airports as well. Empty airports, I'm mad. Okay, guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The number one thing on this list, yeah. And it's got to be the evenings. The evenings, you know, the nights of this hotel. I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna say it again, but Turkey. Because Turkey was the only holiday that I've been to where I've gone abroad. Like, ever since this lock coronavirus thing. Well, actually, Disneyland. I went to Disneyland uh, a year ago at New Year's Eve, which was pretty insane, but that wasn't as, better. That wasn't as good as Turkey. I mean, I've got to admit, Turkey was just sick. I think it's because where I haven't been there before. I've, I've been to Disneyland twice, but Turkey, yeah. The evenings there, you know, or the evenings on any place, yeah, like, I'm talking about Crete in Turkey, 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 Crete in Turkey. I mean, uh, I mean, 
I don't. Tenerife as well, all these hot places. You know, you go into your hotel room, you have a shower, put some after sun on there, you know, makes your skin all right, you know. I would say moist. I oh, just don't know. No, it just doesn't make it dry, it just makes yourself feel, you know, more chill and that. But sort of, I don't know what, I don't know what after sun's for to be fair, but after sun's sick and evenings, you go out to dinner, you know, maybe there's a little show on or something, you go watch the show and you just walk around and chill. Maybe there's a little party afterwards, I remember that one. I was, one night I was out till like one o'clock in the morning, literally just at this disco place, it was sick. Well, they just did all sorts of things. They did shows as well. They did like a kids' disco, which uh, my brother really wanted to take a part of it. You know. Oh god, I still remember that. That was actually so funny. The amount of people that was in the amphitheatre. Yeah, my brother just running into the middle. Yeah. I don't know why he stayed in there longer. He he would have been trapped in the circle and he wouldn't have got out. He got out just in time. He wouldn't do that now. Like he would not do that now. He was a bit of a savage that holiday. He got lost as well. I bought him a Gucci hat. Like. Turkey was the best holiday. Oh my god, I gotta do that for a video. Top 10 things during a Turkey holiday because it was a, it was a sick. The Turkey holiday was so mad. You know what? I think that's gonna be the next the next test desk video idea, yeah. Top five things during the Turkey holiday. Yeah. Top five things during being at Turkey or something like that. It's definitely gonna be there. It's definitely going to be that video. Or maybe I could do like a story time thing as well because that would be sick. But evenings in this hotel, evenings at any hotel are just so sick. You know, if you have friends, go chill with them for a bit. Yeah, until it gets too dark or something. Nowadays, I just listen to music and just walk around the hotel thing. Because I think it was where that, whole, that hotel was so big, it was just it was so good. It was actually so good. Just going around exploring at night and evenings. I would love to. I would love to have done it with a friend, but you know, in Turkey, I didn't have any friends, but. You know, I guess you can cut that bit out of whoever's editing. Oh wait, on, on the editor, okay, don't. Evenings at hotels, yeah. They're just so, I don't know what, I don't know what's about them. Right, it's one of them things again, I think it's the flight there. You know, I think it's the journey there. You just don't know what's so good about it, but it was so good. Like, I think it was first really relaxing at night. It still, was that had, it still had that humidity in the air, you know what I mean? You know when you go to a hot country and it's like hot, but it's at night, man. Oh, that was insane. And like, you could you could go into the pool at night. I don't think you was allowed, but I would have definitely done that. And and the the shows and the events at that Turkey hotel were just insane. I've got to stop give. I've got to stop talking about this Turkey hotel, yeah, because it will give away all this stuff about the next video idea. Yeah. So, evenings. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Number one thing, definitely in a hotel. I think that's got to be it for this video. A little one to, you know, keep me active, keep you guys interested, keep you guys engaged, keep you guys happy with my channel, yeah. Just another desk video about that, I hope you enjoyed it. We are actually going really fast, I've got to say this before the video started, we are actually going really fast from that West Ham video. I know you guys really like that, you guys have been coming back with all feedback, wanting to shout it out as well, you know, liking it, supporting it. i got to thank you so much guys. And speaking of gaming, I think my good music friend Oni and Zeka, they've actually released a new video of them playing Gmod together. So make you go, make sure. Bro, this is a shout out. I need to speak correctly when I'm doing a shout out. This is important. This is important news. But make sure you go and check it out in the link in the description below. Oni and Zeka's video of them playing Gmod as a scary bro. I haven't watched all of it. Because I just wanted to give them back feedback, you know. But I will definitely, I'm sorry guys, I'll definitely watch it all. Make sure you guys watch it as well. Make sure you guys go subscribe to them. I'll make sure I have them in my featured channels. So I make sure you guys subscribe to them as well. But yeah, it's your boy Brandon, yeah. And this is another desk video. I have a skit coming soon as well. A lot of you people wanted the Life in Tier 10 skit. So I'll make sure I do that. And hopefully it could be a West Ham Crew my Part 2 coming. Maybe, you know. That would be sick, but yeah, it's, you've been your boy Brandon, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. See we do what they never do Wonder why they hate Show them love when I'm on the stage Girl just show me breasts Don't want hugs Wanna see you dance Then just pass your square Give the unks Yeah she fell in love See we do what they never do Wonder why they hate Show them love when I'm on the stage Girl just show them breasts Don't want hugs Wanna see you dance Then just pass your square Give the unks Yeah she fell in love Just another